The buffoonery that I had to deal with this morning, Apple, we have a problem. Humans, potatoes, spuds, and everything else marvelous that exists in this wonderful realm. My name is Jusmila, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> the buffoonery that I had to deal with this morning, Apple, we have a problem. Guys, I was literally having so much of an issue this morning. I've been trying to record on my phone for about two hours. I've deleted everything. I went on my iCloud, wiped the whole thing, removed any form of backup data, and my phone just keeps saying my storage is full. If any of you guys know, like, any saying that can fix that, please comment it down below because no ma'am. I have started my day pretty early, I'm trying to make it a habit, and I'm trying to get into the whole, like, writing to-do lists in the morning. My plan for today is making jindungu. And what jindungu is, jindungu is like a chili sauce paste. Would you say it's a paste? Yeah, like a chili sauce pickle. That's what I would call it. Right now I'm just chopping up the ingredients. Honestly, there is no right or wrong way to make jindungu. I think everyone makes it differently depending on how your parent has taught you to make it. And this is just the way that I make it. Now if you guys want to copy the recipe, you guys can. I am using scotch bonnets, which is pretty spicy. When you make the jindungu, be careful or use a face mask because the little peppercorns, once they open, underneath the blending machine, you're going to start sneezing. Like, you're going to sneeze a lot. Only because of obviously, you know, it works the same as pepper. As some of you guys have probably noticed, I own a lot of these things. I never throw them away. Only because firstly, you can use this for storage. And secondly, you can use these as cups. Like, I genuinely use these as cups for me to make coffee. I'm not ashamed about it. Like, I think if there's a way you can help the environment, then do your part. And this is my way of helping the environment. By not throwing away these glasses into the wilderness and using them for me to, I don't know, store my stuff. So as you guys can see, I use quite a lot of onion, but that's because I love onion. <laughs> Sorry, remember what I told you guys about this making you sniffly? That's exactly what's happening now and I haven't even blended it. So I'm gonna go grab my little blending thing and let's go and make the jindungu. This is what I was talking about <clears throat> when I said that this stuff literally makes you sniffly. I made the mistake of wiping my nose because it started getting itchy and I forgot that I had chili all over my hands. We've got the chili here and then we've got this. So basically what I'm gonna do now is mix the chili that I've ground it up. I'm gonna mix it with the salad. Well, salad, let's call it that. And then afterwards I'm gonna add the vinegar, the oil, and the salt and normally what i would do is allow it to pickle for a couple of days but because i'm having fish tonight and i love having jindungu on my fish i'm going to be consuming tonight it should be spicy but it usually takes a little while sometimes especially when i'm not using fully scotch bonnets because normally i make it with just scotch bonnets but obviously i'm making a milder version this is still pretty spicy okay but yeah let me go prep up this stuff put away the jindungu and continue with my day, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I think it might have actually been a bit too big, but it's okay, I'm gonna clean it around now. I'm going to taste the chili. If you, I will not recommend anyone to do what I'm about to do, okay? I grab like an onion from the pot with some of not the oil so like this and I eat a spoon yeah that's how you know 
that you know is made right. The spice needs to be spicing. If the spice is not spicing, redo it. And this is why I don't ever throw away these things. Like, that you never know when you will need them. So, this is Jindongo. This probably will last me about, probably like six to eight months, but let's see because summer is coming up, barbecues are coming out, so I don't know if the Jindongo will last very long. But yeah, I'm gonna clear this up, get myself ready because I have a video to film as well, right after this. So I legit just finished recording a video. Now I'm just gonna make dinner. I am tired and I'm ready to go to sleep. So my boyfriend has just gotten back to work, um, from work. So I'm gonna go pick him up from the bus stop now. So I'll take you guys with me. <laughs> Thank you. 